Darling, we're live. <laughs> Good evening, Glitterbug, how are you? I'm gonna put my glasses on. Dominic Natty, oh, I'm glad you're here, Dominic. I have some things to address this evening, and if we go back to the interview me and you both had, I think I... I hey, Dom, yeah, we had an interview. You asked me a question saying, was I seeing someone? I said, yes, and I also told you that I wasn't willing to tell you who it was. Um, subsequently, it's obviously out there who I'm seeing. Everyone seems to know who that is. And there's been the normal procedure when people are or are not on, in a television scenario. It's like, I've been reading articles as per usual with all the hate and the, and I, I understand some of it, but um, other parts I just, I, I don't get, I don't understand. Um, I'm gonna bring someone on with me onto the live feed that you're going to not expect who it is, but we're gonna put to bed the theories and all the things that are going with it and all the other issues and problems that everyone wants to create. Um, and we're gonna talk openly about uh, Mariah. So I'm gonna see if I can find them here. There we go, here we go. So I'm gonna send a request. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great evening. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hate the haters, I understand that. So I'm trying to request, I wonder if he's gonna be here. Try again, send request. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Can barely see you, Neil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a little bit better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, live is this live is this what live TV looks like? This is live TV unplugged. Uh yeah. first of all, I, I apologize. Uh I, I'm not as dapper as you are and I'm not uh this is not something I'm 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 normally comfortable with. Uh, no, I know. I dra we dragged, oh, I, you've dragged me in and I've dragged you into this so that we can talk candidly about it. the rumors and the things that are being said publicly. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, um, okay. How do we do this? How <laughs> Where do we, we do start at the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> now, I was saying Dominic's actually on the feed and I was saying back in June, I did an interview with him and I don't do many of these. Oh, I saw that one. Is Dominic on right now? Yeah, he's, he's watching. Dominic's oh, watching. It, all right, this makes it a lot easier. Yeah, so I was saying I, I did an interview on, on his show saying I'd met someone and that I didn't want to be open with it. Um, there were for a few reasons, really. One, all the hate that comes with it. You, apparently, if you're on TV, you can't have a relationship that people don't want to downbeat and talk uh, badly about the person you're with. So you want to protect the person you're with. And if it's a new thing, that's not nice for the person. And it's not nice for you starting a new relationship. And secondly, the situation to the fact that she is technically still married and <laughs> that is to you um, was also another it was a, it was also another thing. It was something that out of respect, yeah. I didn't want to go out there and publish knowing that you'd be sat there looking at it until we got to a stage where maybe we could sit down and have a conversation. All right. Um, how do I do this? You know what? I'm not good at strategizing. I'm just going to just say it, say it mm -hmm. flat out. Okay. Um, wow. When your life becomes center stage. Um, mm -hmm. Look, my wife and I were married 16 years. Um, and uh, I still love her to death. She's like my best friend, Tom. Mm -hmm. So it's a little tough to talk about because I didn't think any of this would really become public. No, but but I, I contacted you today mm -hmm. because uh, I'm just uncomfortable with it. I don't like that somebody would um, think that there's some kind of strategy or something, there's something going on, all right? Um, this is something I haven't wanted to talk about, but you know, uh, I, I, I feel forced to. Um, we're married, you know, we're together 16 years. Uh, we have two kids. Our kids really, we've sheltered them from all of this because Quite honestly, she and I started having problems about four years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, this wasn't a COVID thing. I know a lot of people have gotten divorced during COVID. And, you know, they get yeah. thrown together, <laughs> and, and, you know, and they hate, the, you know, the husband's always out playing golf or something or this. You know, she and I have been inseparable, okay? And we were inseparable. And about four years ago, you know, um, and I don't know, I, I, I started uh, a new business. I, I fell in love with the technology. And mm -hmm. I'm a, a guy who I took companies public for many years. I've been a financial guy. Uh, I gave all that up when I saw this. 
I risked everything I had to go into this. And God bless her. She was my, my been my partner in it. She supported mm -hmm. me in it. And I've taken our family's finances. I've taken our life. I've taken everything and, and put it into this business. Mm -hmm. So, you know, somewhere along the way, I think, you know, it's very tough to be in business with the person that you love. Yeah, we didn't realize it. I think we may, we may have got, up, got out this naively, but I think the bottom line is it exposed a lot of the problems or things that we were having that we wouldn't, we didn't say to each other because we loved each other mm -hmm. and because she was, we were also best friends. And I'll just say this, that this was really my idea. This was my idea that I've, I've seen over a four year period that our relationship, our personal relationship, just, we weren't happy. We were just arguing about stuff all the time and we weren't who we were. And quite frankly, I, I told her one day, I said, I don't want the rest of my life to be a memory of what we are now. You know, it's it a great quote. I think it was Walt Disney who said, uh, the story is what it is when you decide it ends. That's true. Right? Like That's you have true. to decide. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I want our ending to, to have been something that was, that was happy and pleasant, you know? Mm -hmm to look back on. So I brought it up that last year that uh, I, we should separate. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the thing. It's tough. The two of us separated. We still work no. together every no, day. Exactly. So, you know, <laughs> it was like all that happened was I went to another room. We weren't sleeping together. I mean, it, like, the, the world doesn't deserve to know any of this, but I think the reason mm -hmm. why I'm, I'm okay talking about it is I see people attacking her and all of a sudden I got these friend requests all over the place today and I called you up freaking out because yes. I get friend requests on, on my Instagram. I get friend requests on my, on my Facebook. And let me tell you something, I'm old school guy. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if anybody looks at my Instagram, my last post was probably from nine months ago. Yeah, I've had probably, I think it's about three and a half thousand pictures of you sent to me. I was like, oh, good looking guy. <laughs> yes, but your last post was probably from nine I know minutes. what he looked like. <laughs> Your last post was from nine minutes ago. My last That's post true. was nine months That's ago. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, you know, look, I'm a CEO of a technology company, and that's, that's what I've, I've embraced, and that's what, um, you know, somewhere. I'll tell you how good of friends Mariah and I are, mm -hmm. okay? That after being separated for, for like six, probably seven months, she, call, she called me one day. She says, hey, I, I met somebody, mm -hmm. right? And I went, okay, that's pretty cool. Right. Mm -hmm. And she says, yes, I, I but I, I'm uncomfortable because we've been friends. We've been together so long. I feel uncomfortable that I've met somebody that I like somebody. Mm -hmm. And I just want to tell you, I haven't actually seen them yet. I said, what do you mean? You've met somebody. I haven't seen them yet. She <laughs> says, we're just talking on the Internet. Right. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, so that's the new era. Right. And she's like, yeah, I go. So how do you know you like him? And she's like, I don't know. I just like his responses. He's classy. He's fun. He's mm -hmm. funny. Um, you know, what do I do? And she's asking me as a friend, like, what do I do? And I gotta tell you, that is probably the toughest conversation I've ever had in my life because I love her to death, right? And mm -hmm. I still love her. Mm -hmm. um, and, but at the same time, it's wild kind of, I, I, I now think I understand what the, the, the terminology is, yin and yang. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're able to walk through mm -hmm. life feeling both sides of something. That's, and that's I told very her, true. Yeah, so I, t I told her, I think it was, uh, God, I want to say it was June of last year. The kids had just gotten out of school and we were deciding what we were going to do for the summer. And mm -hmm. I said, honey, you should go and go meet this person. Go meet them. Like, mm -hmm. go, go out. Go have, you, how are you going to know anything if you don't attack it and you don't go at it? And she says, well, I feel bad. I go, you can't feel bad. You, you have to go out in life and we have to be happy. And obviously yes. we haven't been happy together. Mm -hmm. So you have to go see if somebody else is going to make you happy. And I got to tell you, if somebody else makes you happy, I want to tell you something. I'm going to be happy. Yeah, that's true. That's going to be a huge, it's a huge, you know, it would be a huge lift off my shoulders. You know, it's very tough being in business with somebody every day, doing work with them and knowing that there's a history there, but you're not really getting along romantically. No. And sometimes the responses you ask somebody, you're going to get a passive aggressive response. And I don't know if your, your viewers know that, but no. <laughs> passive aggressive is probably the worst thing you can get in history. I, I'm a New York boy and I can take somebody stabbing me in the heart, but stabbing me in the back yeah. is not, I don't work. No, no, no. So, no. so um, I mean, the rest is from there. I, I think really what was cool was she, at, at, before she actually went out there, she had enough respect to me to say, hey, I want you at least to talk to him. I think mm -hmm. so you guys would actually get along. You know, and, and, we, and, we, and we do. <laughs> I got to tell you, 
I, yeah. I don't think I, I think when I picked up the phone, I would have rather have hated you, yes. like starting yeah. in. But as, as I love her, um, I could see what she loves in you. Mm -hmm. And um, as much as I maybe did not wanted to get along the first call, I really liked you. And mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I, I said exactly the same thing. I said, um, if, I, if you weren't in, in between us, mm -hmm. uh, I would probably go out drinking with Tom. We'd have a good, we'd have a good old time. And we might actually be out there, you know, the, through a night and partying and going out. So mm -hmm. um, go, go. And that's when yes. she, I think you did the interview. And here's what I respect about you. You mm -hmm. did the interview with this gentleman. And I apologize. I'm not in the social media, so I don't. I don't. No, uh, no. I, don't Dominic, know. I did an interview with Dominic Nazi. So Dominic, you know, when I saw this, the, you did this interview mm -hmm. and talked about Mariah, but you didn't mention her name. No, I thought it was really important to safeguard her from what. If you're going into a new relationship with someone and you want things to work, you have to safeguard and protect. And that's what I think. That's what you do when you love someone. You safeguard and protect them until it gets to a point where being in a i am a social what do we call it a, a z-list reality tv star or whatever but that is part of what i am so sooner or later there's going to be a photo taken there were there were incidents where we were out and i went over to people's tables and took their phones off them and deleted the pictures they'd taken and said if you want a photo i'll take one with you i didn't want that out there i didn't and i remember those stories and mariah mm -hmm. asked me those stories back and would mm -hmm. come back and tell me those stories yeah <laughs> so that's cool look i gotta tell you as an american um I was actually flat, not flattered, but I was floored by your approach. You mm -hmm. called me to talk to me almost as if you were, I was her father and you were asking for her hand. Like you were just asking to date her and how yeah. I felt about it. And I got to tell you, no American guy would have done that. They would have been like, I don't care if you're separated. I don't care if you're married. Uh, I, I like your wife and I'm, I'm taking her from you. Yeah, I just, I'm not like that. <laughs> and, and, so I, look, your viewers got to know something. Um, and this is not being played up for the cameras or anything. This is something that I respected about you that um, I guess is part of the British culture. Mm -hmm. um, you were overly kind. You were, how, how do I say this? You were uh, proper. And mm -hmm. I don't think as Americans, we deal with proper anymore, right? Yeah. It's not something we do. Hey, that was right. That was wrong. But she did it in a, in a way that was so proper that I realized that my girl, Mm -hmm. could be with you and you would protect her as much as I ever, as I ever did all the, all these years. So yeah, and for me, it was a matter of respect too. It's like you, like you said, you've had that history together. You have that life together. You still have the business together. And we were introduced as well to work together potentially on certain things. So it, it had to be right. Amen. There's the, and that was the tougher thing. It really was mm -hmm. because what I'm involved in, what I'm doing, the fact that you liked it and, and you started talking to me about it, well, that's mm -hmm. kind of a double-edged sword. I mean, what happens if one thing works out and the other one doesn't work out? Like, like we'll okay, end up in the bar business... drinking together, <laughs> right? And, like, okay, the business doesn't work out, mm -hmm. and you're still with my best friend, and mm -hmm. it's, well, that's good. But what if you're not with my best friend, and then the business works out? Boy, that's really tough. How do I pull you into a meeting? And then, mm -hmm. is, like, I don't mm -hmm. even want to think about this. <laughs> it just—I'm serious. It, but sometimes, <clears throat> Tom, sometimes life gets thrown on you. And mm -hmm. I think today life got thrown on me mm -hmm. and I, I got to know what it was like to be you for a little bit mm -hmm. and God bless you, bro. I don't want to be you. Right. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and I just, I just want to say to your audience that um, it was my idea for the separation. I, I bless all of this. I want my wife who is now my ex-wife. Okay. And, and by the way, folks, Okay, we did go and get a divorce. It's just that uh, because of COVID and Nevada and the state there, I think a ton of people have gotten divorced and it's sitting on the judge's desk somewhere. But, you know, if anybody ever wants to see that, we filed that officially in October. And the reason why we waited so long, we had been separated for almost a year. And the reason why we ended up finally going to divorce is because she, we finally had a reason to get divorced. Mm -hmm. And that reason was because the two of you had fallen, had fallen in, in, into love and relationship. And I was happy for it and said, mm -hmm. this isn't a separation anymore. Mm -hmm. right? This is something that, you know, I, I see that you're happy and I see that you're in love and I want to create that space for you mm -hmm. so that you can go be happy. And that's for me, I think that, that, that we both love the same woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
The difference is, is that I understand that the love I have for her is going to be something that is with me for a, a time that is how you love somebody and realize that you couldn't get along with them, mm -hmm. but you still love them. And I think that's why it's easy for me to just to let go of her. Mm -hmm. because I realized one, I love her and she's happy. And mm -hmm. two, I realized that this isn't, whatever this ends up being on TV or whatever, mm -hmm. first of all, she's funny as shit. <laughs> the older she gets, the funnier Agreed. she gets. Right? Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> she really is. So I think I like the fact that, uh, I think the world's about to get a, a fun person if mm -hmm. this is where this ends up going with the two of you. Um, and, and for me, I hope this is the last time I actually have to be on TV. <laughs> I'm not, I got a face for radio, man. So I'm, I'm okay staying uh, behind the scenes with that, but I've got to yeah, just, I thought, I thought it was really good of you to actually jump on with me and address the people watching this and to put to bed the stories that are out there that we've like three weeks ago. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my dog Go ahead. wants to say hello too. So it is, we can put to bed that you were married you separated some time ago. I came into the equation. The divorce was put into place, but it hasn't been finalized. And that life is good between us as mature adults. And we have a good working relationship as a, as a group, I guess. Amen. I mean, if anybody wants to come up with the details on that, mm -hmm. on there, um, you know, they can ask all, all the details of it. But I think that's, mm -hmm. that's, pretty, that's pretty spot on. And, and mm -hmm. along the way, you know, you had an interview with it. Um, you asked mm -hmm. my permission about it, and this is, you know, going back, what, 10 months, mm -hmm. you know, ago now. I think for the first time, though, people are, it's just getting thrown on to people because I saw the, you know, the, 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 the page that. It's that... just absolutely brutal, and you can, you can go out of your way to try and protect and put to one side so people visually on seeing everything and utilizing it to make memes. And some of the things that are said are that, like, do we really care? I actually say some of the stuff and I laugh at it because it's so far from the truth. But then I'm used to it. Well, I'll tell to, you, see some, to see someone that's not used to it being upset by it, I, you have to sit and go, come on. In a world where you, you're supposed to be building each other up and in the midst of a pandemic, you, you've got better things to do than sit there and criticize and pull down other people. I don't see. I don't think of it. I don't look at it that way. OK, I look at it this way. All right. I took companies public for a living. I've been on stage in front of thousands of people and I, and I give speeches in front of people. I have investors, I have a company. Um, if you're going to be in the spotlight, you can't decide what you want and what you don't want. Mm -hmm. Okay. You mm -hmm. are public fodder and mm -hmm. that's whether you like it or not. And either you embrace that or you don't embrace it. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I feel about it. It, it. Like if you, if you want to be in the public spotlight, you're going to get those people who say whatever they want in, in there and either you embrace mm -hmm. it or you fight it. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, I think the, the, the advice I gave to Mariah, Mar Mariah is not like you and I. No. You've been in the spotlight. I've been mm -hmm. in the spotlight. Um, and that's not her. And I don't think she wants mm -hmm. that. I mm -hmm. just think that she loves you. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's okay with life as it comes. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to see that from her. All they're going to get is genuineness about it. They're probably going to get some beautiful gaffes along the way because mm -hmm. she doesn't ever plan anything. And I think that's the reason why I stopped today. And, you know, I, I talked to her as, as you have and said, look, are you ready for all this? Because this is going to come at you pretty fast. And, you know, for me, I would just say embrace it and have fun with it and don't mm. listen to all the stuff. I think the other day she was yeah. laughing at me. I, I want to bring up something. She was laughing with me about something. She, she was first was offended. She looked at something. She says, somebody said I looked like Michael Jackson. Somebody said I had, I looked like Michael Jackson. I had Michael Jackson's nose or I had this or whatever. Yeah. I, go, I responded to that. I, that's bad. <laughs> See, I thought it's great because, quite frankly, Michael Jackson's second nose was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's the fact of his oh, third I think or fourth it, I think or fifth nose. The third one, the, the one that, yeah. Like I, I, I thought the second nose was great, and and mm -hmm. it's quite frankly, she hasn't had all this stuff to, done as as people say, you I, know. I, I was like, I, I've I've it. actually kissed someone with lip fillers. It's disgusting. I know what it feels like. <laughs> she doesn't have lip fillers. She actually paints them to look like she has fillers. So it's, it's a double-edged sword. It's like she paints them to look like that, and then we can't really go, oh, she hasn't, because it looks like that. But I've kissed them. I know they're not. <laughs> look, I've been with her for 14 years, and I can say this, right? Mm -hmm. The only things that I know that aren't real, okay, 
Her eyelashes, she gets those <laughs> done all the time. Okay? She wanted bigger boobs at some point. Uh -huh. Okay? And that's it. Yep. And that's it. She wanted that's what she embraced. And I uh, and me being the husband, they're going, whatever you like, that's I'm I'm yeah. all for like, it. Like, what did they really want? I, I I was saying what we should do is go to an actual surgeon's place, walk in, and I go, look, she told me she's had no work done. And actually have her on the table and go, what, what's been done? And I'm sure he's going to turn around and go, nothing. Just a little bit of Botox and her eyelashes. Tom, what woman wouldn't want to go to that doctor anyway and go, well, what, can, what else can I do? What can I do? What else can I Can I do this? Can I do that? Like some women actually love it. Like, here's the thing. I love this fact because I, before Mariah, I dated, right? I dated mm -hmm. a lot of women. Mm -hmm. And the, the funny thing for a man about women is that, you know, Women go, will say something, you lied to me. You lied, right? <laughs> and my thing is, you've been lying to me for, for 20 years. Like, you've been lying all along. What have I been lying about? That ain't your face. That's not your lips. That's not your eyes. That's not your this. That's not your I mean, women have all this stuff done. So I, I find it funny when women just kind of attack other women mm -hmm. and they say stuff about that. Because quite frankly, every woman would probably love to have the most perfect visage, you know, the look. And what I fell in love with with her was just her face. She's got mm -hmm. a, a face, and she's from the Middle East, so she's got that non-aging. Asians have the same thing, you know, where they don't mm -hmm. age. I have no idea how old they are, but I'll leave that for the rest of the viewers. Yes. That's your job now. <laughs> I'll leave that in, in, in your head. All I will say is this: is that Dom uh, says he needs a breast reduction. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just want to know one thing, man. Yes, I just want to make sure of something. As long as I know your intentions with her mm -hmm. are always honorable. Yes. Okay with that. And this isn't just for, for play, you know, on there, because I know she's, she's serious about this, mm -hmm. um, that I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, right. See, be with somebody happy. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, that's probably the last time I'll be and happy. And I will do I'll my see. best to love and respect her and treat her the way she deserves to be. And thank you for your blessing. It means a lot to me. Good man. Hope this mm -hmm. is the last time I have a serious face about things. Yes. Joke from here <laughs> on All right. Then we say Cheers. you've had Botox next because you can't keep a serious face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended by that comment. I would be offended, but my face can't move. So. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Neil, thanks for taking the time out of your Cheers, Sunday to do this. Thank you. Cheers. All right. All right bye right, now. Yeah. You, you just have to log off. <laughs> So there you go. Um, very simple. The stories that are out there aren't true. Uh, you can all say and do whatever you want. Um, yes, yes, I have had Botox, but I haven't had it for a while. Dr. Jen always sorts me out, but I haven't been there for a long time. Um, Neil's been on, clarified the situation. Um, I hope this will put it to bed. I'm tired of listening uh, to people say bad things about someone that I love. Um, so if you could, please stop. Hey, mother, my mum's on here, Janie, uh, 958, and my publicist. <laughs> so, yes, uh, do, do I hate the attention? Well, it's a double-edged sword, really, because I'm so used to it. Um, it's always been there, you see. So, yeah, but some of the stuff that comes with it is a nightmare. Um, you think... You think you've prepared yourself? You think you've uh, kind of gone out your way to actually sit and... Is Neil single? Uh, apparently so. Um, yeah, uh, just you go out of your way to try and make things right. And sometimes it doesn't always go the way you planned. But I love Mariah. Um, this is a loving relationship. It is something that I've dreamed of my whole life. And I'm finally at a point where I can say that's the one for me. And I haven't been. You've watched me. I've been uninterested, uninvolved. Like how many, how many women have I posted pictures of on my site and said I absolutely love them? You haven't seen any that I've said I love them with all my heart and soul. You haven't seen any of that. So you, please believe whatever you want to believe, but the truth of the matter is um, I've been with Mariah. We're together. I love her. She loves me. Um, we have Neil, her ex-husband's blessing on the situation. I did take the time out to go and sit down and talk to him. Um, we're both on the same page and it's good to be able to be, have a mature relationship with other people. Am I planning, what's he put? Am I planning to propose, Dom? I don't know. Why don't you come on? Let's have a talk. 
friend request. Let's see, Dominic Natty. Come on, Dominic. There we go. <clears throat> Dominic, where art thou? There you are, my friend. Yes. Who's eating? How are you doing? Eating popcorn. <laughs> yeah, apparently, no. apparently the Bears All Show went out tonight and no one told us it was going on, so. The what show? Uh, Bear, I did Bears All. Oh, Bear, yeah, Tom Bears All. You did yeah, I haven't seen it. I don't know what was said, but there was some backlash from it about Mariah still being married and what's on. So I'm just, I, you know what's really funny? You know me. I never do these things. I know. I don't care what pe I don't care what pe I, if I'm drunk and you're on, I'm on with you. But apart from that, I just don't care about doing lives. But sometimes in life, you have to address criticism. You have to address things that are said and done that aren't quite right. And it's unfair to come after someone. I'm going to be hated. I put myself out there. I did and said things that made me be in a position where I was hated by the public. Hate yeah. me. You don't have to hate someone I'm with. They haven't done anything. And you don't have to try and dig up stories that don't exist. I, I, I understand. So, um, so can I ask you some questions? Is stop, that all right? As long as you stop sucking on the cigar. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> how, how about this? Does, she, uh -huh. does this better? Can I smoke it like this? <laughs> <laughs> I like to fist it. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I like, I, sometimes I use two hands. Okay, uh -huh. so this is the girl. Now, this girl, she's from New York, right? No. 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 Not uh, she's not. She lives in Las Vegas. She lives in Las Vegas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, so this obviously, just to clarify for the new people that mm -hmm. were asking, this is her mm -hmm. legally married husband that she's getting a divorce from. That's right? correct. That, that you're friends with. We are. Uh, yeah, and we're going to be working together as well. So we would be working together. Wow. Yeah. Now this girl, this is a girl from. How long have you been dating her? Quite. It's the one I was talking about when I was in New York, and I told you about, and then that I met. Ago. Yeah, and then I told you in June that it was like official, official. So, mm hmm, mm hmm. God, you have not. You're not smoking. No cigarettes tonight. No cigarettes. No. Yeah, I'll go get one. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yes. That's this is this is fun. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, so this girl you've been dating for over a year. Uh, no, not not a year quite, but yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now there's rumors that you are getting engaged. Do you want to address that or no? I think all will become apparent within all due good time, my friend. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make it worse. I'm trying to make, no. trying to make, it, trying to make it better. <laughs> mm -hmm. to make, so you guys, that's good though. You guys are you guys are friends. Mm -hmm. We started off yeah. as friends. We spoke for some time. It got to a point at uh, the end of June where we were going to go meet each other. Um, and then it kind of got serious after that. You guys haven't met. You've just been doing this over the phone. No, we've met like quite some times now. So, but it oh, was, okay. yeah, just over the phone. Yeah. yeah. He said something like that. Like you, you're, did he say that? Did I hear that wrong? That he said, you're in yeah, we've been talking. We've been talking as you do online. So that's what we've been doing. We've been talking, and it got to a point where it's like we better meet each other. So, oh, that's great. We did. Okay. See. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what if I haven't seen? I don't even know if you want to answer that. But I mean, what if? What have people been? Why have people been meet? Like, what oh, have, just no. It's funny. It's just they've been. You, you know what it's like. If if someone attractive is on the show, they just want to pick them to pieces. Oh, they're talking about her looks. So yeah, it's, so it's just like she's a beautiful woman. What is there to say? So they're saying that she's had plastic surgery. Yeah, she hasn't. She hasn't had. She's had no facial plastic surgery whatsoever, other than Botox. And it's like I get more Botox than she does. Yeah, which right, still say what? <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. I, I will congratulations, congratulations. Mm -hmm. But this has been, um, and I'm happy, Dom. I'm happy, yeah. and I'm madly in love. That's awesome. And I know you, knowing me, know that that's not something said lightly, so. Yeah, that you mean mm. it. You really, yeah. Have, mm -hmm. have you ever felt this way about anyone else in your life? What was, what was funny, so I was with someone for quite some period of time. We had a child together. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll be 13 in June, my daughter. And probably for the last 10 years, I've just been floating around on the breeze. Yeah. And... 
just everyone that came into my life was compared to her and no one came close. And I thought the trains, my train had come and gone. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they say you get one love in your life and all that. And, and then I met Mariah and I realized even the mother of my daughter pales into significance with the way I feel for her. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Are you now, are you thinking of, I don't you probably can't answer this. Are you thinking of moving to the States permanently again? Uh, well, all I can say is that we're on lockdown in the UK and your right. borders are closed. But when the borders are open, I will be headed your way. Uh, do you think it might be permanent? You're going to live in Vegas? Mm, I'm going to open for Magic Mike. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, they, a lot yeah, of we've already are... said talks about it. You said you're doing it with me. Well, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Jeff, I, Jeffrey's I coming too. If I, if I come out there naked or in a small small amount of clothing, I feel like that will really warm the audience up for you. It'll be like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, you know, anything will be better than that. You know, so mm -hmm. we, we, could, we could do that. That's what we'll do. I think it's fine. I'm getting loads. I'm getting so many comments saying, is that really Tom? It's like, I've been on lockdown training all day, every day. That's all I do. It's like, the only thing I can do is go out, walk the dog. I'm taking the dog out. I'm going for a run for an hour. And then I get back, get on my spin bike and I sit and do my work and social media and all the other stuff. Um, but yeah. Are you losing weight though? You look very thin. Mm, I, I'm, like, I'm down to like 190 pounds. I was like, when I filmed the first show, I was 270 pounds. God, that's fat. Yeah. No, you were 270. <laughs> know. You know when they, you know when they did that salsa scene? You know when they take me to the salsa club? And it was funny. They were, we were dancing and I, like, it'd been a year or so since I'd been. And they were like, oh, dance with some people. I had like three minute dance and I thought I was having a heart attack. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of yeah. like you do when there's a discount on steaks in the shopping center and you go running <laughs> to try and get to the yeah. queue before the others. <laughs> that, that, that's exactly right. You were not 270, bro. That's, that's like, mm -hmm. really? Mm -hmm. When you were filming for the 90 day show? Yeah, but I think people don't really, I'm like six, three and a half. Yeah. So like when you're tall, you carry it, but I carried it like everywhere. Yeah. And I think when I filmed the second show, I'd got down to like two, 205. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm down to like 190. I'm actually trying to eat more because I'm getting too thin. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally understand. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. Now, do you watch the 90 Day Show anymore or no? It's, I you know. haven't seen any. I've, the only thing I've, because I've been doing pillow talk with my sister. So obviously that's the only 90 Day Fiance stuff I watch. Are you on pillow talk? Yeah, we've been, we've been on it for about, uh, 16, 17 episodes, I think. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. So, oh, that's cool. I did, so that's the thing. Now they're just doing it where you just record it. Like at, I always think it's funny. You know, you know, now people are saying, oh, like, oh, Tom's like a has been 90 day celebrity. He's trying to hang on to reality TV. It's like, not really. I've done like 13 shows now. I don't really like, if I don't get any more, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, that goes for all the non-Americans. I've met mm -hmm. a, a lot of a lot of people, and they're, yeah, they don't really care about the show. I mean, do people even recognize you a lot in in the UK as much as they do in the states? Uh, well, here's a funny story for you. So, you <coughs> Mariah went to Starbucks um, the other morning, and I spoke to the woman behind the counter. And the next day she went back, she went, oh my God, the guy you're dating sounds just like that guy from 90 Day Fiance. And she's like, it is. So she freaked out a bit. That's what I, I tried to explain. When I'm in America, like, it sounds really bad, but like back then, I've spent a year soul searching and working on myself. But back then, I'd go and sit outside in the front lobby knowing it'd be about half an hour until someone came back to and noticed who I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ego stroke, good for the day. On we go with the day. Yeah. Um, but no, it's funny. It's like my next door neighbors watch the show. The people in the village I live in have all watched the show, but they're all polite with it. They're all, oh, how are you doing? Have you been filming? Oh, you, you looked very handsome on the show or something like that. Yeah. And in America, she's like, oh my God, I gotta get a photo. <laughs> like, okay, okay, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, no, I, 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 I uh, her name's Mariah, right? Mm -hmm. Now, since you have started putting out pictures, what, for like three days now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, has it been rough on her? Have people been like sending her? Like, did you tag her? I saw the pictures, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. She, I said to her, you need to set up a social media account and then just have it all in one place. 
So she set up an Instagram and she's got like 10,000 followers in two days. It's crazy. Wow. Uh-huh. And are people being nice or are they? Uh, I'd say like 95% of the people are happy that I've actually found someone. Uh, yeah. uh, those people are also very complimentary with the way she looks. But then yeah. you're gonna, then there's, there's always going to be haters. I mean, baby girl Lisa's great. I love her. She was, she was going after some of them on the, it's the meme sites and all the like 90 day bullshit sites, isn't it? That's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's that. So she was fighting fight on that. I don't bother with them. I don't watch, I don't look, I don't listen. Some people DM you some stuff and I just go, well, I can't really see the photo because I don't follow them. Yeah. There's a lot of like, so mm. you know, I, I've done some other interviews and stuff, but the 90 day fans, mm -hmm. uh, they're very dedicated. They're very, mm -hmm. they're very serious. I don't, you know, you know, it's really crazy. I don't understand women pulling down other women. It's like my great, my great grandmother was a suffragette and fought the fort and the fight to get where women wanted to be and all to it. But why, why put yourself in a position and then pull down other people? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. Yeah, it's, it, I I don't, I don't get that either. I actually, I agree with that statement. I, I, I'm sometimes. I, un I understand having an opinion. I understand having an opinion. That's fine. But when it, and you're, we're, we're within a right to state an opinion on anything. But does it have to come from a place of hurt or anger for me? Because it's not coming for her. It's coming because you hate me. Right. It's like get to know her in your own right. Make your own opinion. Make your own judgment call. Yeah. It's like. Do, it, Middle Eastern women have a certain way. They're all beautiful. Have you ever been to Lebanon? Mm -mm. They no. all look the same. High cheekbones. Great. They, they all look like they've been for surgery. And they haven't. That's just the way they look. Yeah. So, and I understand the thing behind it. It's like, okay, that woman's so beautiful. She must have had surgery. Yeah, even but, if she did. I mean, I don't know yeah, if she... and if she had, she'd be the first to come out and go, yes, I had this, this, and this, and this done. And I'm proud of it. Because who cares? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I actually was reading comments while you were talking to Neil, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I guess it's weird, like, because I I have people in my little lives that come in and be mean, and it doesn't mm -hmm. mean anything when you're posting. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting here reading, I'm just like, what is wrong with everybody? They're just like, <laughs> it's like, why are you here watching if you're so upset? It's so mean. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I, just, I don't think it can get. I don't think it gets into the con concept of two men being able to sit down and have a conversation. Yeah. About something. Well, you don't know how much involvement I have with him as a person. You don't know how. If you're, in, if if I'm going to be in a relationship with a woman with two children, with a father that loves them more than anything else, I can't go to war with that man. Right. I got to be. I got to be the stand-up guy. I got to be honest. I got to be. This is what happened. This is what is. This is what. Okay, we have boundaries and we work out what that is. But you got to be friends. You got to be have some jovial way of being with another human being. Because I'm not important, he's not important, Mariah's not important, the kids are important. And she's got two kids with uh, Neil? Yeah, yeah, she's got two kids with them, so. Have you interacted with the kids? I have, yeah, I have. They're both great, so. Wow, oh, that's awesome. Dude, hmm. I'm happy for you. I'm happy Thank you, Dom. You. you did it. You yes, no, I no, did. I finally found something that I cherish, which is, yeah. Which is her. Yeah. yeah, I pinch my I pinch myself sometimes. I'm like, really? <laughs> oh, with you doing the the pillow talk, to, like, do you are you still friends with uh, Darcy and Stacy, or do you not comment on their show? I don't comment. I don't have an opinion. I just think, like, let, let move on. It's just like people yeah. move on with their lives. They come into each other's way of being, and things work out. They don't work out. Just move on. And I haven't seen anything bad said about me from over there, so why would I sit and say anything bad from over here? There's no point. Yes, just it's, you're a person. Mm -hmm. You're a person that has an ex. You dated different people, and mm -hmm. now you write one, but you have ha it happened to be on TV. So mm -hmm. exactly, yeah. and I'm sure there's many people who've had similar experiences, just not in the public eye. Yeah, now, and everyone's happy. I, I'm happy. They're happy. So it's all good. It's all You're good. happy because you get to interview me and ask me questions knowing for well I'm going to run rings around you. Yes! <laughs> Everybody's happy. You know, you mm -hmm. Your mum your mm -hmm. is here. Has mum met Mariah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mum mm -hmm. approved. Mm -hmm. Is that how you guys, you say mum instead of mum, right? I, I call her mother. I just, it's really funny. It's mummy or mother. 
Oh, okay. Why am I saying? Oh, that? I, I was I was playing the other day, Dominic, because I was <laughs> I was there's this whole thing about me living at home with my mum, which is far from the truth. But I like to play along <laughs> with it because I think it's hilarious. You know, if I did, my ironing would all be done. I'd have a meal on the table every day. I think my dad might be a bit upset that I'm there all the time, but it would just be life would be so much easier. Um, but I don't. So I thought it was funny to be at Buckingham Palace and make a skit where I'm stood there. Because I used to make f fun of Prince Charles when I was younger. Yeah. And I, I, I was outside Buckingham Palace and I pulled my ears out. I'll do it for you. It's most embarrassing. So I pulled them out like right. this. As every English good. Yes, yeah, you know, Dominic, look behind. This is the big house. This is, I live at home with mummy. <laughs> I, I don't know. Everyone seems to be making fun of me. I don't know. <laughs> This is, is this British humor? Is that, is that, mm -hmm. is that common? Pull your ears out? Yeah. Okay. No, no dude, because he's got, he's got, got big ears. So that's what the whole, there was a comedy oh. sketch in, there was a, there was a comedy sketch that was about him and they superimposed these huge ears on a caricature. So that was what it was all about. I think I was fascinated as a child with the royal family. Yes. I, and then you guys lost, it was, it was Prince Harry's gone, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Now, do you guys he care? Wasn't, I, he's like the second one, isn't he? <laughs> hey, you guys are losing. Maybe, maybe you mm -hmm. could be taking place. Mm -hmm. Hey, okay, I got company. All okay. right, enjoy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you, you did it. Bye, Dom. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. No, that's his brother. Please stop smoking. Yes, I know. Hmm. Hey, Shaniza, how are you this evening? Anyone with any questions? Hey, Susie, how are you? Hi there from New York, Linda. Yes, see you soon, mother. <laughs> Yes, we did an interview. Me and uh, Mariah's ex-husband did an interview. You can watch it later. Hi there, Chantal. How are you? Yes, she most definitely is the one. <laughs> Check the box, says, uh, says, let me have a look. What's Lisa saying? Oh, is Lisa wanting to go live with me? Yeah, she is. Okay, let's see what Lisa's up to tonight. Lisa, where are you? I'm looking crazy. How are Baby you? Baby girl, I'm in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see you, Tom. I saw your mom was in on your live feed tonight. Mm -hmm. She is. She's watching me. Well, she watches all of us to make sure uh -huh. we're being good. Yeah, she'd be like, why are you smoking? It's terrible for you. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I was nervous. But you have a very lovely girlfriend. I'm she is, she's absolutely gorgeous, Lisa. Not just in, like, her personality. Yes, her personality. Yeah, she's just the salt of the earth. She really is. I've, like, she's the kindest person I've ever met. I enjoyed my brief chat with her in DM. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, Very she's just lovely. Big, big heart, open to everybody. And, you know, you know, you had it. It's like, people say whatever they want to say, and it's... I suppose we kind of signed up for it. She was just there because I'm there. Exactly. Um, and, you know. And what do they want? They want to, they, they say, oh, why don't you post pictures of your girlfriend? Because I post pictures of my girlfriend and you, everyone insults her. It's like, just, what, what do you want? You want me to post pictures and then have her upset. So it's like, I'll, po I'll post a few now and again. So um, just, I don't want her to be upset. I'll have to send her a message to mm -hmm, her. Mm -hmm. Let her know how these people can be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just ridiculous sometimes. If she doesn't know the people, don't even respond. No, and that, that whole thing, it's like I, I spoke with Neil, uh, well, ex-husband, yes. and I just said, look, we're going to have to address it because it's not right. And I don't do this. I don't go on and address anything because I don't care what people say about me. I know you do. And I just thought, no, it's wrong. It's like you don't say the X, Y, and Z when it's, there's no substance to it whatsoever. Can, can adults not be in a relationship, be in love with someone, fall out of love with them, stay as friends, 
and then someone else comes into their life and actually that person's man enough to go to to the, the ex-husband and say look this is who i am i am going to be involved somewhat in in your life in your in mariah's life obviously the kids and we're going to have to get on and he was a, like really i don't i went and i didn't know what to expect and i came away thinking what a great guy he was exactly and we've been friends we talk we've talked about some business stuff because i've got a certain set of skills and what it goes to what he's doing and i was like well what if we did this and he's really open to it that's exactly it because co-parenting is where it's going to be mm -hmm. and you know for them to try to drag her already i think it's very pathetic mm -hmm. no, it's just sad lisa it is it's sad also, like you said if they come after you or come after mm -hmm. me we're the ones that put our self on that crazy tv show mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but you know, what goes on in our personal lives that they don't know nothing about the person, they should just leave them be. No, exactly. And I, I always thought if you respond to them, it makes it worse. I think I remember having a conversation with you when it was going pretty bad. And I was like, Lisa, just don't talk to them. It's not worth it. Exactly. And then kind of, but they still try and find things. They will still try and say things. And Well, like, being a woman myself, um, I see the comments saying about her having plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. If she did, that is her own personal business. Mm -hmm. I applaud any woman who wants to have anything done, or man, mm -hmm. it, or body, do with it what you want. But there's too many to assume and mm -hmm. jump on and say, this person's had this, this person's had that, and not knowing the truth. I mean, I had, like, when I was in, when I, like, going back over a year or so, you get everything for free. I had everything done. And I looked at myself in the mirror one day and thought, leave it alone. <laughs> and I haven't had, I haven't, I haven't had anything for like a year. So, but I'll have a bit of Botox. And I, like, if I'm on TV and you're going to criticize me for the way I look, exactly. then I'm going to try and make the best of what I've got. So, which ain't bad, Lisa. Come on, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at your comments here. Um, mm -hmm. They all want to know if you've given a key to your pad. <laughs> Hold on, Lisa. You got the famous key, I hope. No, no, I just like, I, I know, like, I know we've been friends for a long time now, Lisa. I yeah. do. And I know I offered a really small key. I think it was like this size, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, and I thought if I ever had the opportunity to offer Lisa a key, I would definitely offer her. That's the key I was looking for. Yeah, because I heard you like a big one. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Finally, I got my blue check. Yes, I saw that. I was like amazed and mm -hmm. so because i've had a lot of people that have been with me from the beginning and are still with me mm -hmm. you know, so i was very pleased with everything mm -hmm. yeah uh, it's great it is i'm, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the comments and you only have a few trolls in here but no oh, i don't mind. i love them it's like i love them thank you for coming on my feed and making the feed more popular thank it's you a, keep, keep commenting I know, exactly. There's a lot of good people on here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm on with you, which I thought was really cool. I saw Rocco in your feed. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, these are people that have known us. We have the LLNJ family in here also tonight, Tom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And cool. that's a big group of people. Mm -hmm. uh, Vicky's just now recouping from COVID. She had COVID so bad. Oh, wow. Well, thank God for that. Yes, she'll be returning tomorrow to doing live broadcast. My, my sister went for her jab today, the vaccine. Oh, did she? Great. Yeah, I just, I don't, like, I've always been one for not trying to do these sorts of things. And I know I've got to at some point. Yes. And I, when I, I social distance, and I really social distance, I like, I got mask. Every, when I go out, I'm like 100%. I go to one place per day to buy something and come back. That's it. And I, like, even I'm like, stand two meters away. <laughs> Well, that's just it. Um, you have but to I don't know. So I, don't, I, I know at some point they're going to make it impossible for me not to have one. But I think I just want to wait a little bit longer to see how they improve it. And well, but at some point, I'll, I'll go get one. I know I will have to get one here soon because of the work that I do, Tom. Mm -hmm. um, work yet, but she just got out of the hospital and she's going to need someone to take care of her. So mm -hmm. I'll have to get mine. And then my mother went to have hers done and she was so ill for like three days. Yes, I've heard a lot. Like, mm. 
But I don't know. we're living I, in a crazy world in a crazy time where. But we're surviving. You know, yeah, we are, and we just got to pray and hope that we can get back to some sort of normality. And uh, I mean, life's still going to go on. Exactly. We just have to adapt and make the most of it, I guess. I really think we've made a good way so far of adapting to using the internet mm -hmm. to conduct business, to conduct friendships. So when we get back to the new normal of life, it's mm -hmm. going to be for some people. It truly will. I think it's going to change the face of what we knew. Yes. Because we're, going to, we're so accustomed now to go, if you want something, we're going to go online. It's, what, it's our behavioral patterns that have been changed. Exactly. So we're going to continue. I can't wait. On the 14th of April, I can actually go to a store. That will be incredible to go out and actually do what you need to do and not, you know, have the fear of, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to wear my mask anyhow because I still don't trust it. Mm -hmm. And I just, I keep praying that the board is open so I can get out there, you know, but. Oh, no, you, you've been waiting a while to get your board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been waiting some time and. It's, it's really heartbreaking, to be honest with you. I know. You know I know. It's, it's frustrating. I don't have any patience whatsoever. And to not be able to do something, I'm just like. <laughs> enough. Because as soon as you hit the Vegas Strip, we're going to mm -hmm. do a reunion of all of us. I so, think so, too. We'll, we'll get Yolanda. We'll get David down there. Yes. We'll get Colty and his mum. And we'll get some other people that are that way. And we'll all go out. It'll be fun. We'll, get, we'll have to get Jeffrey over. Invite Dom. He, he likes to go to these things. Yes. As he likes to crash the party. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> we got ripped off for the tell-all. We didn't get to see one another and meet. No, her. I know, I know. That's yeah. so, doesn't that seem like you know in TV world that like it was it wasn't so long ago, but it, it really was a long time ago when we should have yeah. done that. <laughs> exactly. It's nuts. I mean, it just last year, and I think it seems mm -hmm. like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Really, it's not, and. Um, but as soon as it passes, we'll all get together and we'll have our own, we'll recreate our tell-all. No, that'd be great. Without all the pressure of the cameras and all the other stuff that goes with it, it'd be fun. Of course, he's waiting for it. David's here mm -hmm. tonight. He's on here with you. Ah, yeah, cool. How is he? Cool. <laughs> be great. But like I said, Dom can be the host. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Dom can go. As long as he brings the cigars and pays for the alcohol, I'm fine with him being there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it been fantastic seeing you. You I'm too, darling. Going and tell your mom and sister sending them much love. Oh, well. and patient, you'll be here soon. We got. We have to do a TikTok video together. Yes, I saw you do one with Angela. I'm like, Tom, oh, did you see the one I did with Benny from the show today? Yes. That I, like, I couldn't help it. I saw him on the beach with his arms stretched out, and I keep walking past the same the building site every day. I thought I'm going to take my shirt. You should have seen the people watching me. It's like. 35 and i got my shirt off freezing <laughs> the things you do to make people laugh they just mm -hmm. don't <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow tell your girlfriend to stay strong and tell her she's oh, well. tell her thank you lisa good. thank you bye now bye babe okay how is everyone i hope you're all doing well i am tom is genuinely happy and I don't I really have much more to say about that. Ah, Colombia. ¿Cómo estás? Todos mis personas en la América del Sur. ¿Todo bien con todos? Who else is there? Let's, who do they want me to bring on? We've already had those. Anyway. I'm glad that I could have spent some time talking to a few people. I uh, drew a few lines under um, the issues that have been at hand today. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Um, I hope this year turns into something better than last. And I, w I hope you all stay safe. And that if anybody's got any family members that are suffering, I hope and pray for them. So goodbye from me to all of you. Mwah. Goodbye, everyone. Bye now.